Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation problem. So let's get started by writing our restricted list. We can write denominators cannot be 0. So our answer x cannot be 4, cannot be 9, cannot be 15 and cannot be 20. Now we are going to add 4 to both sides. In RHS also we will write plus 4. So minus 4 plus 4 will be over. Now we are going to split this 4 as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we can write 4 over x minus 4 plus 1 plus 9 over x minus 9 plus 1 plus 15 over x minus 15 plus 1 plus 20 over x minus 20 plus 1 and in RHS we will write x square minus 12x. Now we will take LCM over here also and here also. Now 4 plus x minus 4 we are going to get x over x minus 4 plus 9 plus x minus 9 we will write x over x minus 9 plus 15 plus x minus 15 x over x minus 15. Similarly, 20 plus x minus 20 will be x over x minus 20. In RHS, x square minus 12x. From there, we will take x common. In bracket, we can write x minus 12. Now, if I will plug in x equal to 0, so it will satisfy our equation. So we can remove x from the numerator, remove x from the right hand side and we can write over here 1. x equal to 0 is common out which is our solution. Now we are going to club these two terms all together and these two terms all together and we will take LCM. So I will write equation 1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over x minus 20 plus 1 over x minus 9 plus 1 over x minus 15 equal to x minus 12. Now we will take LCM. So I will write here x minus 20 plus x minus 4 in the numerator. In denominator we will write x minus 4 times x minus 20 plus here we will be writing x minus 15 plus x minus 9 in the numerator. In denominator we have to write x minus 9 times x minus 15. In RHS we have x minus 12. Now x plus x is 2x minus 24. In denominator we will write x minus 4 times x minus 20 plus x plus x is 2x minus 15 minus 9 minus 24. In denominator we will write x minus 9 times x minus 15. RHS is x minus 12. Now we can take 2 common out or we can write 2 times x minus 12. Then we will write 1 over x minus 4 times x minus 20 plus 1 over x minus 9 times x minus 15. And in RHS, we are going to write x minus 12. Now, if I will plug in x equal to 12, then it will satisfy our equation. So, I can write our second real solution x equal to 12. And we can remove x minus 12 from both the sides. So, RHS would be 1 now. Now, we have to simplify our curly bracket. Let me write equation once. Here it is. Now we will simplify curly bracket and we can write 1 over x square 
माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स प्लस एटी प्लस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स प्लस हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव इन आर एच एस वील राइट वन नाउ वी कैन एज्यूम एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स लेट मी राइट हेयर लेट x square minus 24x suppose this is equal to y so i can write our equation 2 times 1 over y plus 80 plus 1 over y plus 135 equal to 1 now we will take lcm once again so we will write y plus 135 Plus y plus 80 in the numerator, and in the denominator we will write y plus 80 times y plus 135, and here we will write our multiplier to RHS is one. Now y plus y is 2y, 135 plus 80 is 215. So we will write two times. 2y plus 215 in the numerator and denominator is the product. So we will write 2 times 2y plus 215 over y plus 80 times y plus 135 equal to 1. Or we can write here. 2 times 2y plus 215 will be equal to y plus 80 times y plus 135. Now we will multiply or simplify brackets. So we will write 4y plus 215 times 2, 430. So in our case, we will be writing y square. Plus two hundred fifteen y plus ten thousand three hundred seventy product of eighty and one thirty five. Now we will take all the terms to RHS and write y square plus two fifteen minus four two hundred eleven y. Then we will write here ten thousand three hundred seventy. No, it is ten thousand eight hundred. Now we will subtract ten thousand eight hundred from four thirty. We are going to get ten thousand three hundred seventy equal to zero. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. I will use method of completing the square. So I will write y square plus two hundred eleven y equal to minus ten three seven. Now we will. Add coefficient of y is two hundred eleven. Half of two hundred eleven is two hundred eleven over two. Square of that we will add. So two hundred eleven is square over two is square. We are going to add both sides. Eleven is square over two is square. Now LHS will give us one perfect square of y plus two hundred eleven over two. And once we will simplify our RHS, we are going to write here three zero four one over four, or we can write a square root three zero four one over two whole square. Now we can take a square root both sides. We will get y plus two hundred eleven over two will be equal to plus minus. Square root of three zero four one over two. Now we will subtract two hundred eleven over two from both the sides. So I can write y equal to minus two hundred eleven over two plus minus square root of three zero four one over two. Or we can write y will be equal to Minus two one one 
प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थ्री जीरो फोर वन ओवर टू ना वाई वॉज अवर सब्सटीट्यूशन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स सो वी विल राइट हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स दिस इज वाई इक्वल टू माइनस टू वन वन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थ्री जीरो फोर वन दिस इज प्राइम नंबर ओवर टू अगेन वी विल यूज कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड सो कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज ट्वेंटी फोर हाफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर इज ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर ऑफ ट्वेल्व इज वन फोर्टी फोर सो विल बी एडिंग वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर टू बोथ द साइड्स दिस टाइम एल एच एस विल गिव अस एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व होल स्क्वायर सो वी विल राइट एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड इलेवन प्लस टू हंड्रेड एट्टी एट वी विल गेट सेवेंटी सेवन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थ्री जीरो फोर वन ओवर टू नाउ वी विल टेक स्क्वायर रूट बोथ साइड्स सो वी कैन राइट एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेवेंटी सेवन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थ्री जीरो फोर वन Over two. Now we have to only add twelve to both sides to get our remaining four roots. So I can write x will be equal to twelve plus minus the square root of seventy-seven plus minus the square root of three zero four one over two. So we have in total six solutions. If I will write here all the six solutions, here they are. Now, out of these six solutions, we have to pick the largest x value. So we will write x three is our answer. I will write my final answer x largest equal to twelve plus a square root of seventy seven plus Square root of three zero four one over two. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.